Love is like water. No matter how tight I close my hand, it finds its way off my palm. It always does. But you came like an ocean. There was no mistake I could make that would make me lose you. You were overwhelming. I always thought I was doing something wrongly. Like, I needed to train my palm to learn how to be a room love would feel comfortable in. I never knew. That all I had to do was wait for love to find me. And when you found me, I found out all the things I had believed wrongly about myself. I used to believe I was spurious. Like, all the goodness I had inside of me weren't happy about staying. I used to feel insufficient. Like I needed more than two eyes, two hands, two legs, and a good sense of humor to be lovable. But when I met you, you changed everything without a single word escaping from your mouth. When you look at me, your eyes say, I am a wonder. The most amazing creature between sky and water, your eyes say you can't believe I exist. You can't believe no one has noticed that I am a fountain, that there's so much goodness inside of me, that I am a treasure men should kill to attain. Your eyes say so much without the permission of your lips. Words so vivid my unbelief was silenced by the loudness of its sincerity. The way you look at me when I smile is a storybook with a hundred chapters, yet ending with an ellipsis. Your eyes say my smile can melt a mountain, turn it into sand. That my smile is a tornado that sends a special species of calmness into your soul. That my smile feels like the seaside at dawn. Your eyes say my smile has the ability to drown your stress, drown your worries, wash your burdens off your back. That my smile is a mystery. It will take the twelve disciples to decipher how much similarities it shares with an ocean. Your eyes say you won't let me go. That you are aware would have eyes and lows, but you'd never let me go. Your eyes say I'll be yours forever. That the only time would ever be apart is never. That whatever would separate us would have life separated from its body first. I've seen people send their thumbs on errands. Their thumbs come with beautiful packages that have always been empty inside. But you, you house your words in your eyes. Your eyes are transparent glasses, the similitude of heaven. Everything is bare. I can see through your thoughts, your emotions, your beliefs. And I have chosen to believe all the words your vocal cord didn't produce. I choose to believe because I add it all clearly. They say that the eyes are the windows to the soul, but yours are completely broken walls.